It's Thank my you. honor to introduce Rafaniel Jimerson of Stamper Signings. Take it away, Rafaniel. Thank you, Miley. Good morning, CC Byrne. I appreciate you for letting me do this presentation today. And I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to my company, how we service our clients and who will be an ideal client for us. So let's get right into it. Uh, first things first, Rafaniel Jimerson, owner founder of Stamper Signings. We are a nationwide mobile notary service. I am a, oh, in October, I will be a six-year notary veteran. It just seems like it was yesterday when I made a decision to say, you know what, I'm going to start a mobile notary business and see where this thing is take and see where this thing takes me. And so far, um, this business has taken has allowed me to meet a ton of great people and allow me to create a bunch of opportunities for other notaries as well. Uh, today is our actual our two year anniversary since we started uh, Stamper signing. So very excited about the direction of where we're going in. And if you're not familiar with the role of a mobile notary, our key role really is deterring fraud. Um, you have powerful documents out there, such as power of attorneys, uh, deeds, uh, anything property related. And if those documents get into the wrong hands, that can be that could really lead to a really tough situation. And again, our role is deterring fraud and assisting clients with getting their important documents notarized. Uh, I just want to put this out there. We're not authorized to give legal advice. So there are times. Oh, I have had... Excuse me. No. Uh, there's been times where we've I've been on the phone with clients and then they'll ask me how to what's the what, how to what what what's the actual document that they need and not, uh, ask the questions that we're not really authorized as notaries to uh, answer. Uh, we typically like to refer them to attorneys in case they have any particular questions about how how or how the documents how it's supposed to be actually filled out. So that's the introduction into who we are, and what we're gonna do is oops. So next, I want to. So next, I want to get into: uh, Are you eligible to get your documents notarized? Uh, the notary job is pretty much simple. We verify your ID and then we stamp your documents. But everyone is not eligible to get those documents notarized. So first things first: All signers must present a valid and unexpired ID, driver license, U.S. passport, or military ID. Uh, here in California, specifically, if you do have an identification. Um, and it has expired, as long as it was issued within the last five years, then we can proceed with getting those documents notarized. Um, all signers must be present for the signing as well. So we have two particular um, notarial certificates that allow, that, that, that pretty much certifies that your document is official. And those two documents are going to be called an acknowledgement and a jurat. So the two, the, the differences between the two is, let's say, if we are, if we have an acknowledgement certificate and we're actually in front of the signer, we just acknowledge the signer is just acknowledging that that's their signature. Now they need to be present, but they don't need to actually sign the document in front of you. They just need to actually verify that that's their signature. Now we have another certificate where it's called the jurat, where they actually cannot sign that document unless they're in front of you, and they would need to take an oath or affirmation acknowledging that the contents in the document is true and correct. So definitely something you don't want to forget. And then also, all signers must be competent, alert, or sound of mind. I've had situations where we've had clients that would want a mobile notary to come to either the hospital or come to nursing care, hospice facility, and they may have had a situation where if it's a stroke or they may be on the verge of dementia or Alzheimer's. And one of the one one the role of a notary is to verify that this person who's been whose document that we're notarizing that they're competent. If the person sounds like they're they're not alert, they're not sound of mind, and they just not they don't they don't know why they're signing this document, then the notary has every right to leave that signing and not proceed with it. So it's very important that if you are going to request a signing for someone, uh, whether it's your mother, your father, or a family member, it's very important for them to be sound of mind and they're okay with getting these documents signed. And also, they cannot be coer coerced or forced into signing documents. Uh, I've also had a situation where I had a client that wanted to get a, a, a potential client that wanted to get a power of attorney uh, document notarized for her father. And her father just wasn't in the right space to get the document signed. And she, I, I literally watched her grab his hand and try to get him to sign the document. And in that moment, I had to tell her that's not legally allowed. I can't allow you to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave because if if this were to come back, uh, that document were to be rejected, I could be held liable for proceeding to go along with the signing. So 
Very important that if you have someone who needs a document notarized, they're not being forced or coerced into signing these documents. But if they are able to pass this checklist for everything that's listed, then we can go ahead and get docs signed. So these are a little bit of services that we provide. Uh, our specialty mainly is estate plan signings. Uh, if you know someone that uh, purchasing real estate, uh, purchasing, selling, refine, take out a home equity line of credit, those are definitely signings that we can service. Power of attorneys is another sign, is another document that we're well familiar with. Uh, postils, if you're not familiar with the postils, Pretty much meaning that you have a document that needs that needs to be that's going to go to another that needs to be recognized for international use. So whether that document is going to the Philippines, Mexico, any uh, country continent that's overseas, and that document is going to be used in that continent, it needs to be recognized here first with an apostille before. We also do uh, in card live scan fingerprinting as well. That's another service we provide. Uh, permit expediting. So for contractors or individuals that don't want to go to the building division to get a building permit. They're tired that they don't want to sit there and get their wait for their uh, permits to get approved. That is a service that we can provide for you. And wedding officiating. So if you know someone that's getting married, I also can provide be the officiant for their wedding. I can get their marriage license signed and submit them to the proper channels for them to get to get that uh, document, uh, get that license approved. Uh, ideal clients. So our ideal clients who we like to work with, uh, estate planning attorneys, obviously, realtors, uh, real estate brokers, real estate investors, escrow companies, uh, roofers, contractors for permit expediting, uh, tow yards. So tow yards are going to be for individuals if they may have had their car towed um, or they need to get a, a really, uh, need to get some property uh, out of their vehicle. They need to get a vehicle release uh, form signed. Those are um, clients that we're also able to serve and all around businesses that need ongoing notary fingerprinting and permit expediting services. So for businesses that need ongoing notary services, those are typically going to be again, attorneys, escrow companies. You may have uh, law firms that specialize in helping um, uh, physical therapists with affidavits, chiropractors, dental offices, uh, pretty much small uh, offices that deal in that deal in the healthcare space. Those would be ideal clients for us. And here's the key thing. Here's the key things that you want to listen for or to, to keep us top of mind. So let's say uh, I need a notary for my trust documents. If you hear someone, whether that's an attorney that's setting up a trust for their client, or you hear someone that's decided to go along and set up the trust on their own, and they need a mobile notary to finalize those documents, those that's a key word that you want to listen for. I have a client that's closing on a property. You have a client that's, again, that's purchasing or selling, and they want to actually use a mobile notary, an outside mobile notary, instead of using the title, the escrow company's mobile notary, that is something that you want to look out for. Uh, my mom, my dad, or my family member is giving me power of attorney to handle their affairs. Uh, so where we go to the hospitals, nursing cares, um, any uh, hospice facility, typically the 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 the, 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 child, the kid has to, or the 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 person that's handling their parents' affairs, they need to get a power of attorney notarized. And those are documents that we're well familiar and experienced in handling. Uh, we're getting married. So if you know someone that's getting married and they need a wedding officiant, either myself or I have a team of wedding officiants that can officiate your client's wedding or if you're getting married in this group. Uh, I don't have time to wait for these permits to be approved. Uh, we have contractors out there that have a list of things to do on their plate. And the last thing that they want to do is sit at the building division and wait for their permits to be approved. Uh, we have permit expediters that are able to take your documents, take your plans, uh, everything that you need, take it up to the building division so you can get your permits approved. And I was told to get this document apostilled. So if you have a person who may have family, uh, like say in the Philippines, Mexico, uh, China, Japan, and they may have a power of attorney document or a birth certificate, death certificate, or they need college transcripts or, or corporate documents and they need to be apostilled. We actually have couriers in Sacramento, also close to Sacramento, that could take your documents to the Secretary of State, where now they're offering same-day service and get your, apost uh, get your documents apostilled. Um, that's it for my presentation. Uh, if anyone has any, uh, any questions, I'd be more than happy to uh, answer those questions.